it's a gimmick to me. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going. I'm going back. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marion. In today's video, I am trying out the Laura Mercier Foundation um, Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I have a new blush shade from Rare Beauty. Also, I have two of the new lip oils from Rare Beauty. Trying out lashes from Eyelore, the pre-glued ones. You'll definitely get my thoughts on those lashes. You would like to see how I apply the foundation and my pens and thoughts on everything. Then stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the reason why I finally went and picked up this foundation is I watched Andrea Renee's real on instagram and i saw her apply it now she used the laura mercier's brush but i wasn't buying another brush you feel me so um i figured that since i picked up a couple of things from sephora i would try them out give my first impressions a lot of these are new items recently released and yes i could have waited until the sephora spring savings event but i am very impatient and i'm very impulsive um, so enough of me rambling, I'm gonna hop right on into this. Sorry, uh, my lighting probably has changed because I decided to mess with some stuff on my camera. So this was in my bag at Sephora to talk about the sale. I start out with eyes, but since I really want to focus on the foundation, um, this is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I have it in 4W1 Suntan, and that is like the same shade that I had in her um, tinted moisturizer. Well, I can do 4N1 and 4W1, but when I was in Sephora and I was matching myself, the 4W1 was kind of like closest to me. Um, but you know, Sephora lighting can be a little throwed off. But let me just give you quick deets on this foundation. It's a weightless foundation that blurs the lines between makeup and skin with medium buildable coverage, waterproof wear, and up to 12 hours of fade proof wear. It's medium, it's natural. It's also vegan, gluten free, cruelty free, and comes under a recyclable packaging. And it's list some other stuff, but you can definitely check out the claims on Laura Mercier's um, website or Sephora's website. But you know what? Let's get down to the nitty gritty in trying out this foundation. Now, whenever I'm trying a foundation, you already know the routine. I do one side with the sponge and the other side with um, a brush. This is the packaging, what it looks like. So I think I'm going to do two pumps and this is what it's looking like on my hand I already primed so don't have to worry about that so we're gonna take the brush on this side and just go from there hopefully i got the right shade we will see honestly i feel like i don't see anything but i do see the hydration on my skin can you tell the difference Maybe the lighting needs to you know, be down a, a teensy bit. Let me see. I think that's a little bit better. But in my opinion, I don't look like I, I have anything on. So hopefully I can build this up without it looking cakey. It's very liquidy, but not to the point where, you know, it's just drip drip. But you can see here. So maybe that's why they're saying it's buildable. It's blending very well into my skin. So there's no complaints about that. So this is one side and then this is no foundation. I can definitely work with this shade. I might need a deeper one come summer. Definitely can move forward and try with the sponge. I have a beauty blender. And I only put two because I still had some foundation on my hand. Let's see how it goes with the sponge. 
In my opinion, it's like the matte foundation era has kind of like took a pause because everyone is coming out with like hydrating, luminous type of foundations. I really feel like it's okay to have a balance. I could like go a little deeper because if you see my neck and then the foundation shade, it's a slight difference. Mm, I might exchange for a deeper color like 4W2. Now, a new product that I picked up from Sephora that um, isn't technically new to the brand, but this is a new shade. And this is the Soft Pinch Blush, um, Liquid Blush in Virtue from Rare Beauty. It says it's a long lasting liquid blush that blends and builds beautifully for a soft, healthy blush. Let me just swatch this real quick. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna put it right here. Hopefully they don't dry fast because I tend to move a little slow. But let's see. Ooh, okay. I really feel like I could have went with a lighter shade, but this subtle blush is completely fine with me. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's very pretty. Minus my hair being in the way. So I have these two lip oils from um, Rare Beauty. I have Honesty and then I have Delight. So this is Honesty and let me swatch it for you. Okay, you see how the applicator looks? And then this is what the product looks. I was scared. I was definitely scared because I'm like, okay, the component is a different color and that's what I was basing it off of. And then this is Delight. So maybe the component tip, yeah, it's red. That's different, very different. I guess so it won't stain. So this one here is Delight. And then this one here is Honesty. So I think I'm going to um, rock Honesty. Let's try Honesty. Feels good on the lips. Um, it's a, a tinted lip oil, so I'm not really expecting it to perform like lip gloss i definitely can add a liner so let's see i'm going to use rare beauty um kind words and strong okay this is subtle and cute i like the feel of the lip oil so last but not least to try out is the Alor pre-glued uh luxe faux mink lashes i tried them out in the video then i switched them out because they were a little too natural or subtle for the look that i was going for and since i changed my mind and didn't want to put on any um eyeshadow these are a close-up of them if you haven't watched that video and you only can get three wears out of this so, so let's see how this goes okay so that's one lash easy application okay so i zoomed in a little closer so you can see the final look of everything um i set my face with like a matte powder and i kind of wish i hadn't have done that because looking in the mirror i'm looking extra dry but i do have um setting sprays that'll kind of bring me back to life so i'm definitely going to use that and so let me do that right now because I'm looking dry, dry. And by me doing that, lifted my lashes. So this free glue stuff, three wears, hmm, three wears where? Okay, I feel like I have done enough to try to fix these lashes. They are coming off. They are a flop. They are a gimmick. Would I repurchase or recommend them? No, as I'm talking, they are continuing to lift and the band is so thick i just feel like if you wanted to wear these every day as a natural look it just would not blend well because the band is just ridiculously thick so let me talk about the star of the show and that is the laura mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation i like it i was a little skeptical i really feel like if i go and get a deeper shade I can see myself utilizing this all the time. Um, I definitely need to go in like my bathroom and see what it looks like because the camera is showing me something different. 
and on the camera it looks extremely light here it looks light but in my bathroom i feel like my bathroom be giving me the, the real tea letting me know like girl this not for you um the blush the rare beauty blushes are the one that i used i need the other shades going back for the other shades this was stunning stunning and it looks so beautiful with the Real beauty highlighter the lip oils they're pretty they're stunning i need something with a little bit more pigment so um wearing which one am i wearing i'm so confused wearing honesty i just honestly thought that I would get a little bit more pigment, but it is worth the coins. It's very, very stunning. And you can add more if you want to. It feels so comfortable on the lips. So if you're looking for something subtle, but have your lips hydrated, then try these out. Um, lashes, no go, no go, no go. I'm going to take these off right now and trash them because even if I use my own adhesive, they're just not natural type of lashes because the band is so thick. I think they made the band thick so the pre-glue, like each time you pull it off, is taking off a layer of glue. So that way you can wear up to three times, but it's a gimmick to me. Um, let me know if you've used those lashes before tried them out you know let your girl know it was just a no for me honestly so that's pretty much it everything that i purchased from sephora recently that are recent releases except the eyelashes i got those from ulta if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and as always thank you for watching i'm going back i'm going back i'm going back